San Francisco, home to some of the world's most successful tech and finance companies. But not everyone who lives in the Bay Area enjoys the grand life of large paychecks and healthy living. On the other side of the Bay Bridge behind me is the Port of Oakland. Air quality wise, it might as well be a million miles away. This community called West Oakland, between the three freeways, the port area and the Bay Bridge, has multiple businesses that relate to the trucks all in one neighborhood. And it's not just unique to West Oakland, it's all across the country where freeways is going to be placed for those who lived in the suburbs to get into the city. That's part of the history. My name is Miss Margaret Gordon. Been in the Bay Area since 1971. I moved here and ever since then I've been involved in some kind of social justice. Well, you can't actually see the air pollution she's fighting to reduce. See what a yellow crane is? That is the alloy smelting company. Then we have several recycling companies. It's impossible to miss the heavy industry that helps to produce it. I'm looking at two new housing developments that may not even have indoor filtration. The little mini farm called City Slicker Farm and with a playground to the left of these buildings is the smelting that goes 24 seven with trucks and melting metals. West Oakland is in Alameda County in the East Bay where people can expect to live an average of 80 years. That's better than the US average of 78 years. But zoom into West Oakland itself and living here can cut your time on the planet down to just 67 years. That's more in line with the kind of life expectancies this country hasn't seen since the 1940s. The hard truth is, all of these factories and ports are what create the modern life we all enjoy. Where you live uh, can really determine whether you live or die. And that has everything to do with where pollution sources are allowed to exist. There are millions and millions of people dying every year from breathing air that's been polluted by fossil fuels. In the United States, it's about 300,000 people every year. When people say, not in my backyard, it's gotta be in somebody's backyard. Yes. A backyard where people do not have power. That's how West Oakland and communities like West Oakland get dumped on. We did a study and we found out that uh, black and brown communities in the Bay Area are exposed to 30% higher levels of pollution uh, than the average. And white populations are experiencing 14% lower levels of pollution. My name is Davida Herzl and I'm CEO and co-founder of Acoma. And we're making air pollution and greenhouse gases visible. How? Well, she's installed digital noses in the back seat of these cars. As they drive around, they sample San Francisco air, and then artificial intelligence comes in, creating a cutting edge 3D map. The darker the color, the more smog creating pollution in the air. And in case you're wondering what West Oakland looks like, here it is. Now, for the first time, you can actually see where pollution spikes. To have block by block data has made it a whole different perspective. And so in most cities across the United States, you only have a few sensor stations per city. But air pollution is hyperlocal. So from one block to the next, it can differ by 800%. Here at the Port of Oakland, those sensors have plenty to pick up on. All that smoke rolling off of diesel powered ships at one of the top 10 largest shipping ports in the country, which are offloading cargo to those waiting and idling diesel powered trucks. In the United States, if you're black, you are three times more likely to die from disease that is induced by air pollution. Uh, that is by design. That is based in historically discriminating practices in the United States. One out of five children between the ages of zero and five end up in an emergency hospital. Because of asthma? Yes, asthma-related symptoms. We took those findings to the International Maritime Organization, the UN's agency in charge of regulating shipping. And while they've done a lot to reduce sulfur dioxide and ships in Oakland are now plugging into electric power once they dock, the agency admits electric ships that can actually cross the ocean and long-haul electric trucks are still in the future. These mobile monitors 
are here today. And by catching a ride on those Google Maps Street View cars, they're letting today's city planners see the invisible threat for the first time. In West Oakland, that's forcing some change. There's a new generation of policymakers and leaders taking action um, in a way that historically, you know, hasn't really happened before. People like Miss Margaret, the wave of people that really care about the nexus between climate and air pollution and environmental justice. It's inspiring to see what's happening right now. A couple things that we have done within West Oakland or the city of Oakland, we have a truck route. Trucks are prohibited from what some streets. The families on those streets, people who once felt as invisible as pollution, are now having a long awaited I told you so moment, possibly clearing the air for future generations. In West Oakland, California, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. I'm the reporter from that story you just watched. Since you're still here at the end of the video, you may want to subscribe. I've got more than 800 stories just like that for you to look over. In fact, YouTube is recommending this one to you right now. These are the documentaries I've done around the world. We're also on your smart TV. Look for these logos, The Weather Channel or Pattern.